concludes the KEPA Friday News. Please stay tuned for a special KEPA weekend segment, an environmental expose keeping you, the public, informed of the latest in environmental spills, failed cleanup efforts, and other ecological and not so ecological atrocities. Welcome to Weekly Leaks. <laughs> Good evening. Tonight we begin with Carla, who has an update on that all too famous ecological disaster, the Gulf of Mexico oil spill. Carla, what's the latest on our attempts to try and blame someone else? <laughs> well, Robert, you may recall that the United States sued BP for not following federal regulations in the construction of that failed oil rig. And you may also recall BP accepted responsibility and pledged to make full amends by forking up their hard-earned cash to pay for the cleanup. But after that suit was filed, BP's, fares, BP's shares dropped 2.8%. In response, officials at BP then stated that they were not to blame for this mishap. I guess that was their way of saying they didn't want to pay for it after all. <laughs> <laughs> uh, well done. <laughs> Thank you, Carla. We look forward to your update next week, including a special segment entitled, Where Has All the Oil Gone? Well, I want to know about that. And now to Esther, who has information concerning nuclear waste leaking from containment canisters at Hanford. This nuclear waste is working its way towards the soil into the Columbia River. Esther, what's the latest on our attempts to try and stop this leakage? Well, Robert, they're not going very well. Back to you. <laughs> the gift that keeps on giving. <laughs> <laughs> and now back to Carla, who has an update on the safety of our drinking water. Carla. <laughs> Thank you. It seems that the EPA has another challenge on its hands. This week, it was reported that 31 cities around the United States had been found to contain unhealthy levels of chromium in their drinking water. Chromium is a metal which has been found to cause kidney and liver problems, as well as many cancers. Ironically, the EPA does not yet know what a safe level is, nor have they found the sources of all this contamination. So, good news for you if your water's been shut off. <laughs> uh, and now to Esther, who has information for you, the consumer, to help stop leakage problems closer to home. Well, Robert, our investigation has revealed that the two most common ways customers waste water are by having leaking toilets and dripping faucets. One can tell if their toilet is leaking if it makes a sound when not in use. Thank you, Esther, for that fantastic job of investigative journalism. This just in. The beautiful Seattle Park on Lake Washington, Magnuson Park, site for boating, housing, swimming, volleyball, as well as housing for families with small children, has tested positive for atomic radiation contamination. This is due to radioactive iridescent paints that leaked into the groundwater of that former naval air base during World War II. Families with small children are advised that it is perfectly safe to use their playground facilities Provided that the total time spent outdoors does not exceed more than two hours in one day. Those with homes on the grounds most affected by the contamination will, as the saying goes, just have to suck it up. <laughs> and with that glowing report... Sorry, we have breaking news. As, and now we go back to Esther, who has another breaking report from Weekly Leaks. What's happening, Esther? Well, Robert, you won't believe this, but this investigation has just revealed that the football used with the Patriots during the championship game was found to have been leaking air. Thank you, Esther. That's all the airtime we have for that. But I wasn't finished yet. But it's old news. And now for the last story of the evening. Old news? You mean like the Gulf of Mexico oil spill? Talk about ancient history, come on. This 
Seahawks lost the Super Bowl, Esther. Do we really need to go there? And the oil is long gone. Who cares? As a matter of fact, much of the oil is currently at the bottom of the Gulf where it remains. No pun intended. Robert, you just gave away my story for next week. Tune in next week to find out just how it got there and why it stays. <laughs> Until then, just remember... If it springs a leak, we're sure to speak. Good evening. Good evening. Good evening.